So dear students, so today we are going to learn about the module 5. So we'll be taking the PDF. Yeah. So as you can see, it's application physics and computing and physics of animation. So this is the last module. So coming to this module, this exam is coming. So I'll tell you how to study this properly. Okay. How to get more marks in this chapter. And the important questions I'll be just discussing with you. So in the syllabus we can see here, the linear motion timing, uniform motion timing, slow and slow. These are the important ones. Then in the last one, we can see proton decay, normal distribution of bell curve, poison distribution. Okay. So these are the again other important questions. And then we can see jumping parts of jump. Fine. So these three, these three or four are the most important ones, which will help us to get the out of 20, at least 14 marks in the paper. If we just study only all of these things. So we will study one by one. So we'll come to the most important one. So motion in animation, okay. So they'll be asking about what in the paper, it can be about linear motion, a parabolic or circular motion. So those are the questions which can come. So make sure that you draw diagrams properly in this. So in a linear motion, obviously that what, for example, it will be moving in what in a straight line along the same direction, correct? So here we can see a ball is moved on what a horizontal plate or a surface correct so and it is falling under the force of gravity simple thing is ball is moving but it's moving along a straight line parabolic motion parabolic motion since we all know what is parabolic for example a cricketer is there he's hitting the ball for a six so it goes for in what shape parabolic shape it will go Correct. And this path is called, the C path is called projectile, the projectile motion. The horizontal line projectile motion are not wasted in our lower class. Okay. So make sure that you draw a diagram. Circular motion, fan rotation. Correct. A body moves along the circle under the action of centripetal force. What is centripetal force formula? Mv square by R. So this again. So make sure that you draw the diagrams. For this oscillatory motion is what to and fro motion in the sense pendulum tell the best part is what symbol harmonic motion of the pendulum so this is one question which they can ask is i'm going to discuss only the important questions first then i will go to the less important ones or something which we can study by ourselves that we can do it at the last Yes. Poison distribution. So in the second year, I think you'll have a probability in M4, probability in queuing theory. So in that you'll be studying about poison distribution. So we have studied in class to the Bernoulli trials. Correct. So basically the Bernoulli trial poison, everything comes under what? Probability. Probability is something which we are not certain which means it can happen or it cannot may or may not correct so it's basically discrete distribution discrete distribution meaning is if you just see the graph here see discrete in the sense i'll tell you what is discrete suppose three internals are coming out of 40 first internal we are scoring 40 out of 40 correct second internal we are scoring 20 out of 30. 
20 out of 40. The last one again we are solving how much? 30 out of 40. So first internal 40 out of 40, then 20, then again 30. In the sense we have that's not a fixed pattern basically. So the pattern is not fixed, something which is not fixed that is discrete. So we can see here, we can't predict anything here, correct? It's increasing, it's decreasing. Yes, that is basically discrete mathematics. Again, M3, you will have it. Discrete mathematics along with this. Those are in computer science or in IT. So the formula that ex they expect you is this one, P of X. X is something but the condition. Okay, X is equal to K. How many times it will occur? For example, we started in, I'll go back to our class 12th or 10th, where what is the probability of getting at least two heads? At least two heads. In the sense, minimum two heads. So I'll give what, what is the condition? More than or equal to two. Greater than X greater than or equal to two. So that K is nothing but my, the number of trials. Okay, then lambda power K, E power minus lambda by K factor A. Lambda is nothing but how much time that event is occurred. That's all the lambda. K okay, already told you the number of trials. And this graph is in, important. Probability versus K. So it is the discrete time graph. And what is use of this Poisson distribution of thing but the proton decay. Okay. Probability of proton decay. So proton Correct. It mainly designates two parts. One is pure and positron. And it has got a mean life of 10 power 33. So in the sense, which is actually our age of universe is 1010 years. 10 power 33 is huge because 10 cube itself is 1000. Correct. 10 power 4 is how much? 10,000. So it's very much or kind of infinity greater than compared to what? The age of the universe here, right? Age of the universe. So, to explain about the decay of proton, we can use which one? The Poisson distribution. In the sense, we have to wait around 10 power 33 years to see the proton disc decay, which is not possible for us. Now, coming to our the formula, decay law formula is what? N is equal to N naught e power minus lambda t. The capital N is nothing but the number of undecayed proton. In the sense, proton is still there. N naught. N naught is nothing but decayed proton. Lambda or lambda is called decay constant. Time t is the time. Okay, so n is equal to for the first one, n is equal to n into 1 minus lambda t. Because e power minus lambda t is equal to what 1 minus lambda t. We are representing this as since it's a very, very small thing. And decay constant is already told you it is 10 power 33, so 1 by tau. This symbol is called tau or relaxation time. 10 power 33. 10 power minus 33. Okay. Now, initial protons at time t is equal to 0. I'll take a 7, 7 10 power 33. Correct? And what is my uh, 1 by tau? That is decay constant, 10 power minus 33. So, I will be getting 7 10 power 33 in 10 power minus 33 which is nothing but 7. So, 7 DK events will occur in 1 year. Okay. And how much events are happening totally? Lambda is equal to 3. Lambda is equal to 3. So, in the Poisson's formula, whatever we did the last one, X is equal to K is what? You just discussed one formula, the same formula. Lambda power K power minus lambda by K factorial. So, 3. 3 power k value is 0. 0 factorial is 1. You can do everything in calculator. e power minus also in the calculator. We will be getting 0 0.05. Okay, so all of these things, whatever I told is critically important if to write in the exam to get the full mark. But make sure that you draw the probability distribution diagram. Next thing is normal distribution, that is Gaussian distribution. Whenever you see the keyword Gaussian distribution, or the bell curve, make sure that you manually draw this diagram, the bell diagram. The bell diagram. Okay. See, we have seen something called body mass index, right? In the sense, for example, 
body uh, those who don't know what is body mass index is nothing but if i take our height the body weight and age if you enter these three things they will scale us as whether we are obese in nature or our uh, health mainly about the health fitness okay whether we are obese or our uh, uh, we are very lean or we are perfect so those three things there is body mass index bmi calculator will say so this is something which is applied in the bmi calculator body mass index in the sense they will be giving a range if uh, the body mass index is giving us 20 to 25 then you are healthy in the sense you are neither uh, very slim nor fat nor obese if you are greater than 25 to 30, 27 or 28 okay then you are obese then if you are more than that more obese so something like that okay so there is a definite for else let us take our uh, grade also okay who are getting 60 to 70 percentage is falling under this category 70 to 80 is in this category 80 to 100 in this category similarly 50 to 70 in this category less than 50 in this category so that is our rule basically okay that is a curve is curve shape is what bell shape so maximum people who are in which category so again the graph is very very important so make sure you write this mu then add minus sigma minus two sigma minus three sigma here you add plus sigma plus two sigma plus three sigma so this is nothing but our probability density okay yeah so this is basically my 68 percent 95 percent and 9.7 percentage so this is already i told you what are the examples so here you can just write heights of the people or whatever it is okay. size of the thing see a marks or a test which i already discussed you can write your own thing blood pressure of blood pressure of different people errors in measurement okay now coming to our last one monte carlo method so if an event is uncertain for example the stock price okay the stock price and uh, let's take any business okay any business if i take it's kind of uncertain because it's not a salary job yeah so by using this monte carlo method we can predict the outcome of an unpredictable event okay so that is this particular method so again diagram is very very important a circle and a square correct we know what is area of a square how many sides are there four sides four r square what is area of circle pi r square now i have to find the ratio of two areas area of circle to the area of the square i'll be getting pi by four so pi by four is something but what number of points generated in the circle to the total number of points inside the square so what is pi is equal to 3.14 is equal to 4 into this 4 and multiply in this side that's all that's our monte carlo for the uncertainty so that's it guys thank you very much so all the best for the exam